Hello everyone, we are back with another portfolio review. We have Benedict here and he didn't say overall, he said overall portfolio, try, uh, he's trying to find his first job uh, after the graduation. So we'll give some of our thought on the portfolio. Yep, so let's quickly look at the resume. Nice, you can give a a summary what you want to do and what you want to be a little bit and then these things it does not matter that much because these are here as well and the skills are good but uh, use the summary properly with that and you can add more of your social media you can add sketchfab if you have or any social media where you post your other work will be nice to attach it here now uh let's go from here okay so this i usually do not like this layout let me just load quickly the other art session layout okay so we have this layout because i like this because this one have one thing i uh we can see how old it is so it's one year old and and we mainly quixel assets yeah so it's one year old already we will not spend too much time on this but overall i can see you're trying to make an ornament um only if you have some light but if you could light up uh, if it's uh, abandoned then we don't have any light but if you have you can remove this tree from here so we can see the mansion clearly next all uh, like it's all of the time like some trees are obstructing the view we know some mansion is there but we want to showcase that as well right and yeah so like if you remove these trees and this tree and then we will see the rest of this it's okay if we cover it here and we put one tree here so in the middle we can see at least uh, and this is fine because this uh, is forest and it's to nothingness unless there is something to show then it's good to have the screenshot basically this one also right see so if you remove this tree and then we will see the mention more properly uh, again uh, it's, it's a different shot I'm trying to so show some spookiness so uh, if, if imagine there's a path going from here to the front of the mansion that make more sense like and if you don't have this tree and some more tree and then we see the mansion clearly okay and if we have uh, if you want to keep this it's fine because this is taking too much of his space it should not be this higher up at least it should be till here the foreground asset foreground assets help but if we light up the window and some light is uh, on or some emissiveness that adds up as well right so that will be visible from distance um i believe you want to showcase uh, the scattering here maybe but i can see some the mention there so it, it does not matter let's like scattering we are not trying to show we are trying to showcase mention so our thing should be focused on that right again the try to you know manage the scene composition more better the camera place them better remove some elements which are obstructing the view so we can showcase the mansion better okay uh it's anyway it's old but it's okay if you want to recreate it or re-render it it's okay yeah. and this seems metallic but it's okay to use in some areas and it's too noisy it feels overall like you feel you don't have this tiny noise too much like the peel of it if you show up properly will be nice if you are showing very close up right so it is overall it's noisy it have dust and everything uh dirt everywhere even grunge so if you have some unique areas like some places it have all the paint and some areas it have room don't have will be nicer to have in this Okay, this is nice. You added it here. This could be a really nice asset for your mansion's road. So you can add it there. 
<clears throat> and maybe it is there. I don't see it. Let's just check quickly. Base normal. We do have metalness. Yeah, overall is good. Um, maybe this the size you can reduce always to optimize it, but it's fine. Yeah, for now. But I really like the one with the log. It's nice. Yeah. I don't I remember this concept art from the challenge. I remember. Uh, let's just see what you have there. It was prop, right? So um, I don't know if you have followed any reference could be but this bottom part seems smaller than the top maybe there is a reference it's like that but it seems smaller the overall if I see this have uh, nice I love the wooden details here and I like how you this time you added some in the corner not everywhere it is subtle like you have details here and then you have calmness and I overall I like it And nice you have made the bottom weight and you're showcasing it this one is good like if you can put it in an environment or some place in a corner maybe we'll you know add uh, uh, a lot of um, shine to it because the, it's good to have a problem like there but you have wooden thing and you have it to the victorian wall and next to it yes it will shine but yeah this one is good overall and i'm only not sure about the bottom of it it look weak and look tiny because this is big so yeah so that's the only thing misleading it but i see i love it like you have scratched some places wrinkles some places which is nice this one is good okay so this is uh try to keep control of the fiber like here is good the fiber direction here the fibers are following this so usually should be on the longer side so try to control these direction of fibers even on this right see this you're showing close up and when these things show up in the close up might hurt the assets presentation so we can and uh, if this uh, metallic piece is uh, have some holes that uh, wooden part is getting plugged into then we can you know make that part also like we are plugging it in and see this fiber is okay like it could have fibers to this direction but try to keep it in the longer side right so because it will be you know trimmed out of a longer plank so the plank will be on this longer direction right and then it will trim off so that's just a tiny thing like here it's fine like here it is not but overall this has said look good this is why i like it now let's talk about the challenge on to work uh, U, U5 yeah so I feel like there's nanonite and lumen there's nothing change they have few options here and there but it's mostly the same uh, you can follow those workflows it's nice and overall this scene is good uh, i would say the but the i believe this is dragon steel i believe it's going from there this look like more like a live dragon than a statue so we can have more you know uh, uh, here i can see some of these larger cracks but are not visible overall like right? we can have broken thing maybe it's dragon sleeping from long time so that could also be a thing but overall this um everything look mushy like uh don't have detail overall the elements are there but if we uh are in third person or first person and roam around these look a bit flat and like do not have detail like this is so flat right so but if we go close we need to see some damages in the corner some cracks and uh, some larger damages stuff like that like i can see some here but it will be overall on the surface also 
and I see uh, the you added IV which look like more so like the maybe we can make them more fluffy and in, in we can you know polish it in the texture also even then we can fix the mesh uh, normal of the foliage mesh which make it look more fluffy yeah. uh, you have created the a lot of vegetation and you placed it around but it's not you know shining it looks flat in areas but overall this is a good try i say there is a anyway there is a lot of work to do in the scene it was a challenge it was a strict time frame so you could not and this seems you know cropping up because of the shader maybe like it looked floating so just check what happened there maybe it's because of the shader i love the water shader right now yeah see you use the tidal texture which actually repeating a lot maybe we can remove these spots these dark ones so we don't see it everywhere repeating and the other thing you can do uh you do, do check god of war references they have really nice they sculpt everything and then they use normal map and then you use uh uh tile level texture on top and then you can blend multiple to break the styling uh, surely we can you can also use uh masks to create dirt moss and uh, damages maybe and edge highlight is another thing you can use in rgb mask you can do different things and then you can put it on top and then you don't have to even blend you can blend on top for sure yeah this is like if you're trying to make a, a rock one it look like well, it should look like more uh, rocky right like it's not really flat so i'll say that in the shader if you just use uh, ao and edge highlight all the pieces will you know uh, pop up more like all these edges and all the details will pop up more even the damages you will put with the curvature edge highlight they will pop up overall i can see but uh, there is a lot of effort went into it and uh, do play it around and check if it's working or not but the camera is okay we're going with the camera but uh, we need to you know see it in the gameplay let's see if there is gameplay nice nice it looked like a plank floating over there yeah you can take the godo for example actually so they have the snake in the scene which is sleeping so that type of maybe made of a stone and you can take the example but i will i believe that overall there is a lot of work and uh, what i felt like the, when i saw the gameplay you can make it a level like the player can walk up and go up there and then jump there and go up there stuff like that you can make a simple gameplay as well but overall i it's, it's nice scene just only the details are missing the the closer work in the detail like see this look bit flat like if you have a normal maybe you are going for the this semi realistic or stylized art style then it's fine but if you still this surface detail would have been nice like you have on the cliff rocks right you can see it there but most of the other parts they look flat everywhere yeah but like this is anyway so one year old will not same but this asset is really good uh, I, I would love to see more from you and if you need any help or any specific guidance do let me know okay i would love to help okay until then take care and also i have uh mentorships open so check the link in the description uh if you want to know more about it and form also in there uh, you can fill out 
uh, if you want a portfolio review so see you guys soon